Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're gonna find out what we're wanting to hear. Please remember this when it resonates for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what we're wanting to know. Okay, so there's an energy here of somebody really wants to speak to you, okay? They have a lot to say. And I'm getting that this person feels, they kind of feel cut off, right? Maybe you guys had an argument or a fight because I am getting, I'm hearing forgiveness, okay? So I'm getting that this person and kind of wanting your forgiveness or they want to apologize um there's definitely a lot of things that this person wants to say there's an energy here of for some reason this person seems to act the opposite to how they actually feel there's an energy of them pushing things away okay i'm kind of getting somebody that avoids conflict, that avoids situations. Um, I'm also getting somebody that this person seems to have a lot of fear surrounding this connection. They have a lot of regret. Um, I'm also getting an energy of this person having a hard time sleeping. This person seems to stay up okay thinking about you reminiscing um there's definitely some things I'm kind of getting this person may have said some things to you that they regret or it's like maybe they lied to you um I'm kind of getting an energy of this person they feel a very strong connection to you they feel like that you've helped them become a better person you've helped them awaken um, but I do see this person really wanting your forgiveness and I do see them kind of stressing over this connection. There's an energy of this person needing to heal. This person's also really good at acting, by the way. So you may not realise how upset this person is over this connection. I just think 303. Um... This person's a really good actor. They're able to keep a poker face. This person seems to be somebody that acts emotionally unattached, okay? They act like they don't care, um, like, you know, things don't bother them. When things really bother them, I'm getting this person. Definitely a good actor, somebody that's able to make you feel like, you know, they're okay when they're really not okay, um... I do see this person, there's something about, I'm getting that they lied to you about something. You could be dealing with an Aries, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. This person had constant... It's like they're constantly regretting this connection at the moment. They're constantly regretting their actions. Um, I'm getting this energy of somebody that just hasn't said anything or done anything about this connection. Right? Somebody that really stresses a lot about this connection but kind of avoids it. This person, they feel like they're not looking after themselves at the moment. There's an energy of them. They feel like, what's the point, kind of, right? Because they feel like, um, you know, they've ruined this connection. They, they're scared that they're never going to speak to you again. Like, this person, there's an actual fear that they're never going to hear from you again. And 
that really terrifies them, right? Because there's an energy of you kind of being the reason why this person woke up in the morning, to be honest, right? You really brought a lot of love into their life, a lot of happiness into their life. There's an energy of you just being in this person's, like, life. It would, like, kind of... It really changed them, right? I'm getting an energy of this person really being inspired by you, but I'm getting that you guys are not in communication at the moment. And there's an energy of this person not looking after themselves. Whoever this is, they seem to I'm kind of I'm not gonna like there could be an energy of this person maybe being sick or something. Um I'm getting an energy of them for some of them they've been sick and they're unable to work or anything like that. It's just like this person kind of feels like they're lovesick as well, like, over this connection. Um, I'm getting when you're in their life, it's like they feel better, right? But there's this energy of, at the moment, they could be sick or something and they could be spending a whole lot of time thinking about you. I see this person definitely seeing a tarot reader or a psychic okay about you they're definitely getting some type of spiritual advice about you you could be dealing with a Pisces you could be dealing with a Sagittarius so this person um again there's this energy of them not looking after themselves um there's this energy of when they were in like when you guys were in communication you inspired this person to become a better person. You inspired this person to want to look after themselves, to eat healthier, I'm hearing. Um, maybe to start working out, okay. Um, you just really inspired this person to want to do things to better themselves. Um, now it feels like they're kind of off track. It feels like they're very frustrated. This is somebody that... When you were around them, um, you would inspire them to open up spiritually. I'm definitely getting a very calming energy. You definitely, I'm getting at this person maybe meditated when they were around you or something like that. And now it's like they're very frustrated. They have a lot of, it's like they're, they have a lot of stress and anxiety because of this connection. And I do see this person they're not really doing much except thinking about you. I do see this person dreaming about you a lot, getting a lot of signs about you at the moment. Constantly reminded of this connection. But there's this energy of them avoiding communication, right? For some of them, you both seem to be avoiding each other. Maybe you both, like, you guys ended on bad terms or something. You may uh, be marrying this person, right? Especially if this is a soul connection. If it's not a soul connection, this person feels like you're mirroring them. So they think that because, you know, they're not looking after themselves um, and they're all frustrated and everything, they think that, you know, you're mirroring them. I'm getting that this person... There's an energy here of them holding on to their emotions. Um, to be honest, pride in the way here. Like, this person wants to break this, like, they want to communicate with you. They want to break the silence, right? But there's this energy of this person and their ego is too big, right? Even though this person seems to be like miserable without you and they seem to even not be looking after themselves and everything like that, very frustrated. It's like their ego is in the way, like they could communicate with you but their ego is too big. They owe you an apology I'm getting. They do have a lot to say but they won't say it because again, it's like 
their pride, right? They don't want to, like, get rejected. I'm getting that this person seems to be getting a whole lot of bad luck, right? They feel like now that you guys are, like, not speaking and, you know... They feel like now that you guys are in separation and not speaking, that they're getting a lot of bad luck. They feel like they're off path. They feel like this person kind of feels like when you're in their life, like that's where they're supposed to be. Like this person gets sign from spirit that they're on the right track when they're in your life. But I am getting an energy of this person sabotaging things and now it's like their ego is too big, right, to apologize. This person instead is just staying away from you. Yeah, I'm getting that you guys had an argument or something, okay? There could have been a confrontation here. And I'm getting, yeah, this person seems to have cut the cord or you cut the cord. Somebody blocked somebody, I'm getting, okay? Or things ended on a bad on bad term. But I am getting that this person, they're getting bad luck. This person's going to try everything to get back into your energy because they feel like, everything going wrong there's kind of an energy here of when you love and love somebody it's like you're protecting them right and now that you've cut this person off they feel like they're not protected anymore right i do say this person um they're going to end up biting the bullet they're going to end up you know coming forward and they're going to end up coming back into your energy because Again, for some reason, they feel like they're having a lot of bad luck and it's because they're fighting with you, right? For some of you, this person may be physically sick and again, they think that it's because they're fighting with you or they've done something here to betray you. Yeah, I'm getting that this person... They're going through a whole lot of drama in their life, a whole lot of conflict, and again, they think it's because... Things are not right here with you, right? This person's going to try everything to work together, like to fix this, right? You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, there's this energy of when they're in communication with you, this person feels protected right they also feel like you bring money and you bring opportunity okay there's something a there's an energy here of maybe you bring them opportunity or you give them money okay but they feel like you bring luck and you bring money this person literally thinks that so this person seems to be losing money they seem to be in a really bad place at the moment they're losing opportunity they're getting a whole lot of bad luck and they literally think it's because you guys are not speaking you could be dealing with a virgo this person feels isolated from your energy like they cannot feel you at all instead they feel there's a lot of paranoia around this person. It's like they're scared. This person, it kind of feels like they're going to be begging for your forgiveness, right? I'm not sure what happened here, but there's this conflict here. And I'm getting that this person's going to be begging for your forgiveness because there's this energy of this person feeling like their life is going downhill because they wronged you. Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, you seem to be getting blessed. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are very powerful, very magical. I'm getting that there's a very protected energy around you and this person did something to betray you. And now they're getting a whole lot of bad luck. And again, there's this energy of them begging for your forgiveness, right? There's also this energy of you seem to be getting blessed at the moment for some of you. With the Ten of Pentacles, right, you seem to... There's something about money. Like, you bring money, and I just need one, four, four, four. You seem to bring money, okay? You seem to be 
I'm hearing showered in abundance. So whoever, whoever I'm speaking to, like you seem to be blessed, right? This person here, they feel weak. Yeah, they did something here. They really tried to betray you in some type of way, right? They made a choice here. They tried to betray you. They tried to play some type of game here with you, but it failed. And now this person feels weak. They seem to be going through a whole lot of bad luck. They seem to be losing money and opportunity. This person is very upset there. So you're about to hear from this person, right? This person is very upset. They feel like, again, there's this energy of them trying to betray you, but they're the ones that it's like they're scared, they want your forgiveness, um, they're kind of, they're still like this person angry though, I'm getting that this person, there's still resentment here, right, um, whatever happened in the past, this person hasn't 100% let it go, they're coming back, I'm even getting this person may give you a gift or something, um, they're coming back and they want your forgiveness, but it's only because, their life has been turned upside down. They seem to be going through a whole lot of bad luck here. You could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, this person really feels like you can help them. Especially financially, right? They feel weak here. This person really wants to come and fix things here with you. They really want to make things right. Because they seem, things seem to be crashing down for this person. They seem to be going through a whole lot of bad karma. I'm not sure if they try to come for your opportunity, your money. Okay, some of them try to lie on you, okay. But this energy that they're getting hit with, they're convinced that it's because you guys are not speaking, right? For some of you, I'm getting that you seem to be doing really good. This may have been a love interest, okay? But I'm getting that there's somebody new in your life. You may you may be dealing with somebody that has a lot of money or something. Um, somebody that's very, like, financially well off. Yeah, I'm getting that there's somebody here that is offering you something, they may want to go on a date or something, but this person matches you, right? You guys seem to, maybe this is a soulmate or something, um, but there seems to be an energy of somebody that was false being cut out of your life. Maybe they made a choice here, okay, but they've been cut out of your life. They try to betray you and um, sabotage this connection in some way. Right? And this person, they're getting a whole lot of bad karma. But the thing is, you seem to be in your very best energy at the moment, okay? You seem to be doing good financially. You met somebody that's doing really good financially. Um, This person's also very romantic. I'm getting, like, a very, like, happily ever after vibe with this person. Yeah, this is somebody that understands your worth as well. Somebody that wants to be with you and only you. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, I'm getting that whoever this past person is, they're coming back. But again, they want your forgiveness and there's also some resentment there. Okay. Um, they're also going to be shocked because you seem to be very happy, very content. You seem to be... Seeing somebody new, you seem to be in this empress energy or this emperor energy, okay? This energy where nobody can really affect you, right? Things seem to be going really good for you, but there's somebody here that tried to do you wrong that seems to be going through a lot of bad karma and they're about to come back and ask for your forgiveness, okay? That's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.